We are interviewing DDP today, and we have nothing, nothing planned. You can do what you want, say what you say, I'm just trying to take over the world. Yeah. Hamilton. Yeah. You can move if you want, today is the day. It's We have nothing planned for this interview, but I'm fucking tired. But this changes that. This turns me into a real man. Oh, there he is. Danny! <sighs> we don't have very much time. <laughs> I know, we gotta start figuring out what we're gonna ask him. I, I don't know if you heard, DDP, but you got some beef going on with Colt Cabana, and we're gonna get your feedback on it, because listen to what this fuck. So we're watching TV last night at like 8.30. My phone rings and I look down and it's him. <laughs> And I, I could not, like, I was watching Netflix, I could not get it paused fast enough, so I just ran out of the room so he couldn't hear anything in the background. And I answered, like, hey, how's it going? Oh, and, and then he does this thing, hey, it's Dallas! Like, yeah, I know. I know who you are. He said he should be done and out of there by 115, so he wants us to call him at 115, and then he thinks he'll be ready to call us back at 130, and we'll do it. So we'll do it similar format. Okay. We'll do the DDP yoga up front, because you know he's gonna wanna talk about that. Well, yeah. no, I was just gonna ask how his life has changed in the last few months since we talked to him, because that's right. been an explosion. A lot has happened since the last time we talked, bro. Exactly, how has your life changed in the last few months since our WrestleMania interview? So we kinda do the DDP yoga, I can talk a little bit. Um, like since I've started it, then we go into like our questions to him, which I figured it's easy to let you have it unless I have something to jump in with. Like you just all of a sudden take over and then I'm in your old role, but that might too, be too advanced considering we don't even I, have topics. I think he loves us because of your interview style, because you uh, talk to him so weird. <laughs> Like oh. you kept throwing, you were so good off the cup that you kept throwing in things like that you guys are best friends and yeah, like you know when you shit on me, I think he enjoys that. <laughs> do you that. want me to end it with playing audio from the last time? Like I was be like, do you remember it being weird last time? Yeah, yeah, and then I'll play it. And I'll be like, what happened there? Yeah. That because that'll be awkward again, and I think that'll be a good ending. I could read the listener questions. So when we get so it's like yoga, you asking our questions. And then listener questions, I could read, and then you go into the last segment, the awkward audio. And then I also want to ask him, since he was at Raw, who's going to win tomorrow, Punk or Brian? Like, he knows. Like, do you get sucked into the point where you want to know who's going to win, so you just ask someone? I was going to ask him about wrestler court, too. Oh, what a great <laughs> question. I had one for you that I thought you'd love. We should ask him how a Royal Rumble or Battle Royal works. Yes, yes. Because no, because nobody knows. Like we have, you know, listeners, and everybody's got theories. But since we don't do them, we don't know how they do them. Yeah. Because I'd be pissed if I'd been in for a minute. Some guy comes up and be like, "I'm gonna throw you out," and I'd be like, "No, fuck you." Like I'll, I'll read you the Twitter questions, and you tell me if we want to roll with them. Okay. Uh, Dexter Bateman. Dexter Bateman wants to know if you think there truly is any hope for Scott Hall. What the fuck? Yeah, just because it's a listener question. Okay. Because yeah, we don't need to take responsibility for that you know right i'm okay with that that's kind of who do you think has more heat aj styles or aj lee oh, come um, on that's fucking yeah he's gonna be like who's either one <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about yeah, he's like i don't i don't know those people uh if ddp does more raw appearances would he ever consider doing a new diamond cutter variation maybe out of a military press no <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> like he goes ultimate warrior and then drops. Well, I hate order. that. Is that Colton? I hate that question. <laughs> That's kayfabe, man. I hope he's not in the chat. Uh, Danny, yeah. it's like ten minutes away. We got. Uh, we got to figure it out. We got only. Gotta, we need to call him soon. I am so nervous. Who's gonna win tomorrow, Brian or Punk? I know you know. Just tell us. We're friends. No one's gonna hear this. <laughs> Nobody else is listening right now. <laughs> I try to think of things we thought we talked about. I'm like, it's kind of great to have a wrestler. Yes. yes. Be the final uh, verdict on That's it. That's exactly what we should be doing. It. Like, inside stuff that uh, the locker room will like, but then still makes sense to people who haven't listened. Should we ask him if he's Team Kevin or Team Chickenfish? Yes. Definitely. I can put that as a listener question. I, I'm going to ask him to cut a promo, too. Then I, if he picks Team Kevin, I'm going to go, on Team Human Centipede. <laughs> <laughs> That's like you suckered him into it. Oh, you didn't read the fine print? 
<laughs> Deep chicken fish. Cut up. You're promo. associated with locking children in their basement. Do you know? Oh my god, it's 121, Danny. Holy shit, you gotta call him. You're gonna make me do it. I was talking about it at work. And I was like, yeah, now I gotta be more careful with my phone. And people are like, why, Uncle? <laughs> I'm gonna have celebrities' phone numbers in my phone. I can't just leave this shit laying around. <laughs> Can't, I can't have people just finding my phone and have all these celebrities mad at me. I can't do this, Danny. I don't have it in me. I don't have what it takes. We're not prepared enough. We don't have any Canyon questions. How, how close were you with Canyon, and how did how did his death affect you? It's pretty broad. No! I want him to know that I'm the biggest Canyon fan in the world, and I support him coming out. But we can't you, talk you about it. You, you get him started talking about it, uh, I think then you open that door. But the problem is, is what's the initial question? Hey, DDV. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> do, do you know who this guy is? <laughs> hey, uh, what's Canyon's birthday? <laughs> do you want to ask him about the uh, the art of wrestling thing? I think we should go that route. Cause like I said, if we can get him to say something. Yeah. I know it's kind of sneakyish, but we need something noteworthy. To yeah, good it. point. What's with the cool? Don't be DDP. We hate him too now, <laughs> DDP. We're on your side. <laughs> this fucking guy is interviewing John Morrison. And he says that I almost sent him a threatening email. Now, I want this to be successful. I do. Mm -hmm. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to warn you, don't get to DDP style. All right? I, DDP, by the way. Uh what does that mean? Don't get to DDP? What? Don't care about it? Don't make it? Don't help people? Don't change lives? Fuck Colt Cabana, yeah. right, Dallas? Who's Colt Cabana? I don't know who he is. Yeah, exactly. That's what I said. Someone just played <laughs> this for me. I go, who's this guy? He said, hey, it's a life podcast. I'll be with Dallas. Yeah. So he's on Skype? What is my fucking Skype number? I'm trying to talk to DDP! Hey, Danny. Hey. What's going on? Hey, man. <laughs> you sound like me on Jim and them. <laughs> Someone's calling us. Kev. All right, you ready to start? 5103. All right, thank you. Danny. Danny. Where is he? Shit. What is going on? Danny! What is going on? Danny, pick up. Pick up, Danny! What the fuck? Hey, Dallas? Yo. Sounds much better. I just gotta get Danny up. Danny! Yeah. Alright, is everyone good to go? Awesome. Let's do this. Alright, <clears throat> let me get in the zone here. <clears throat> do a quick diamond cutter. Oh, I'm so to a T. <laughs> right. It is the whole effing show. A lot has happened since the last time we talked, bro. Hi, baby. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Good. Gotta get back. Gonna do episode 85. What? We interviewed Diamond Dallas Page, and um, we that went well. And now I get you. Now I go back. I do episode 85. Okay. Then I go to work. Then I come home. We do power hour. In another VIP. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's a busy day, you know. Oh shit! I wonder if we're supposed to be busy though. Yeah, that, and then I have to do that before the power hour, obviously. So we got money in the bank. You got the card up? Yeah, I'm gonna double check right now to see if they added any matches since I did it Tuesday. Okay. <laughs> any word on the baby yet? Have you noticed my OCDs in the video? No. Do you know mine? I try to edit mine out. Yours? I don't know yours, no. Um, I'm always like rubbing like, like putting my hand like over my mouth. Oh yeah, yeah. Then, so I'm always like, I'll pull it up and like just kind of like brush my mouth off or like right under my nose or something. Oh yeah, you pull that off, you make that like, uh, make sense. It seems like just something you have to do at that moment. It, it's a thing, like I can't stop doing it. Like I don't, I, I don't know if it's like since I like stop really shading that part like it always feels like something's out of place or <laughs> oh, for some reason if I lift my hand up I immediately focus on the thumb and I need to swing it to the right <laughs> like it's something about rounding out the top of my eyelid like if I right now I'm moving my hand around my eyebrow and it feels good to do that it's not even touching me it's just in front of my head you know you should leave it in one time so like if you, if you catch yourself doing it I would see what it looks like I have so many outtakes what is that noise I just got to get the Ass Master, Battle of the Bands clip. We'll start with that. We got to plug our tout, because that's the new thing, you know? And we still have to do Greatest Match, too. I mean, there's so much stuff we're not going to be able oh, to do. Oh, do you want me to search that real quick? Yeah, what was the hashtag? It was like Kevin Dick, Dick, Dick Big? Or? Yeah, Kevin Dick Big. Great, now that's under my search engine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right, I got to write down the entries. 
Which means I gotta bring them up. Jesus Christ, I wanna start. Do I think DDB was happy? Yeah. Yeah, sure. I think he has fun. I hope so. He just likes talking, so I don't even know how much it does. I don't know if that's our fault or what's going on with yeah. that. Do you think we need to wrangle him in more? Yeah, I think that there are sometimes he wants us to, but the signal isn't very clear. All right, so you got Big Show. Oh Jesus! All right, all right, all right. going too fast. Big Show. Big. Okay. Show. Show. Yep. Hey, I'm in the zone. Okay. You ready, Dano? You tell me when to press record. I'll press record and run to my chair. All right, I am gonna reset mine now. Danny Richardson, it's the whole fucking show. A, a second. No, oh, let me start over. I was gonna bring up how we've been doing this all day. Danny Richardson, it's the whole fucking show on the whole fucking show dot info. How are you doing, big guy? Doing pretty good. I got that white blood flowing through my veins. I'm ready for you today. Danny, I'm crazed out. I'm Kevin Scampoli. I'm also known as Kelvin Scarpelli, Thuhone, Wrestler Court, Diamond Dallas Page, The Super Naked, Gears of War 2. Danny, I'm the gay boy, and I am joined twice a week by the A boy himself. I'm Danny Richardson, I'm hashtag Team Chicken Fish, I'm Kate Fuss, I'm Danny Richardson, and this week, you'll never forget where you were when you heard the new nickname, The Alamo. Well, Danny, you cut me off. Uh, before you cut me off, I was going to say I'm Wesley Lorne, Ivan Cage, Jack Ed, the guy you fucked over and the guy you fucked. Now I gotta edit it fast before work. Now we just need an intro, that's what's going to hold us off. Have we done Dolph Ziggler? 50.06 we messed up. What do you do during editing time? Not talk. <laughs> I have to leave in 25 minutes. Athleticism, charisma, you name it, I got it. Everything I've ever wanted, I have. Champion. I'm here to show the world. I'm here to show the world. Danny, then we get to talk, huh? Then we come in. <laughs> e. Champion. I'm here to I wanted to put in the whole thing with you and Jim and them before. Yeah, they don't get old. Danny Richardson is the whole fucking show. Danny Richardson is this down. Danny, the key is you want our voice to be like the loudest thing coming in. Makes the studio sound even better. There's nothing worse than when you turn on some shitty podcast and like the music's so loud they're like coming in in the way in the back. Our kids are out of shape. They can't read. E. It's the whole fucking show on the whole fucking show.info. We'll never forget where you were when you heard the new nickname. Wow, that's like what you just said from the, that's what Dolph said. That works out, huh? And if you didn't hear all of that, you weren't listening to the whole fucking show. Things just come easier What an emotional part. And now I have to upload, write the description, Get the image, run to work. But what were you saying about the email? Uh, the, the subject was just th uh, a thank you. And oh. he says, after hearing someone sent you a thank you message, because we talked about the Jeffrey Hamilton one, mm -hmm. was on, on the last episode, I've now felt compelled to do the same. Your discussion has been a real boon to my life in so many ways that it seems crazy that I haven't sent a note before. Mm. I've been listening for almost a year now, but I can't make the live chats. I'm not on Facebook and just now started a Twitter, so I haven't been an active member of the locker room, even though I've always been there in spirit. Which I love to hear that there's people like that, because we can always see the same people. Yeah. Uh, it says, your unadulterated love of pro wrestling has inspired me to come out of the locker room. <laughs> or, or it's just come out. All right. We are back. Ready to get drunk as fuck? Power hour. Drunk as fuck! Power hour! VIP content taping start momentarily. Uh, hey Danny, I've been a loyal listener at TWFS for close to six months now. I want to tell you how much the show really means to me. A close friend of mine named Liam Kirkwood was diagnosed with leukemia a few years ago and has been in and out of hospitals a lot. I traveled four hours nearly every week to see him. He and I loved wrestling, and when I came across your show, I had to show him. 
We laughed so much every time we tuned in. He became a loyal listener fast because it kept a smile on his face in hard times. What? He, pa he passed away a few weeks ago at 18 years old. I just wanted you to know that you kept a smile on his face in the hardest of times. Your show has been the only thing that has truly made me happy since he passed. Next weekend, I won't be able to do Saturday, but I can do Friday morning. Do you want to do that? No. Nah, we skipped that shit. I get, no, the DDP interview. You want to wait and just kind of put it out on Friday? You want to bang out this death thing? You think you'd do a status update of you right before you die? If I knew I was dying, yeah. Because, yeah. and what happens is, is your Facebook going to stay up or? Can't talk about this now. <laughs> Sorry, Dan. What are you doing? I'll try to find so my... you have the pre-death discussion? Dude, I'm getting emotional, okay? I'm just trying these to get you good, to... These are good questions on your part. All right, let me get the death notes up. I'm... Do you think it's okay to talk about this on here? Yeah, I think so. Because it's the... That's what we're going to be talking about. Like, it's... Don't just start out with it. Don't no, just but I mean, do you think the Craig guy would care? No, I don't think so. We don't have to say names. Maybe I won't say a last name? Or just call him CNL. Oh, oh. <laughs> you guys should do DDP yoga with no clothes on. <laughs> Dude, good. fucking safety zone does not feel like safety zone. Yo, what up? How's it going? I'm good. All right, man. Uh -huh. Is somebody yeah. playing a Slam of the Week episode? Yeah. I'm barely good hearing, but I can hear you well. So I stare at the entrance as if the carousel. Andy, that joke I made wasn't okay. Stop, stop moving on like it was okay. Learn from mistakes and the different equation. Learn from mistakes and listen to the equation. Thinking you listen to the equator. Learn how to my flow can make greater.